Ha, huh, my little friends. There you are. Nico, what is this? You started eating without us? I did, yes. You're paying, after all. The thought of being able to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the finest sake, all for absolutely free? Oh, I just couldn't wait any longer. Ah, boss, see these two faces here? Remember them. They're the ones picking up the bill later. All righty. Uh... What's gotten into you? Come on, sit yourselves down. You have to try this fish. It's found exclusively in the waters around Seirai Island. They shipped it to Inazuma overnight, and it was still alive right up until I ordered it. Or maybe you'd rather try this? I know, I know. I normally can't bring myself to drink sake this expensive either. If you don't drink alcohol, that's fine too. There are all kinds of fruit juices covering the whole price spectrum. Nico! You are outrageous! Last time we were here working on a novel, all you ordered for us was the plainest kushikatsu! Hmm? Strange. I remember no such thing. Oh, so what? You did offer to treat me to a meal, didn't you? Anyway, I am something of a VIP, you know. Wouldn't you find it embarrassing to treat me anything short of lavishly? Miko, this meal is going to be super expensive! Aren't you afraid we won't be able to afford it? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. You can most definitely afford it. They're still printing your light novel by the batch, you know. You have quite the generous payment due. Uh, what? Aw, oh, darn it! She tricked us into this! Miko was after our Mora from the very beginning! <laughs> oh, the looks on your faces right now. Too perfect. <laughs> oh, by the way. Since nobody's wishes came true on the moonless night, novels with incantations are no longer in vogue. So you'll have to come up with something new for the next chapter of The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler. The deadline is looming. I'm counting on you. Thank you for the meal. I thoroughly enjoyed myself today. Oh, did I mention? A saw that convocation ritual we performed over the Grand Narukami Shrine. I know she can be pig-headed, but it still took me by surprise when she wrote me a long and sternly worded letter about it, chastising me for taking this whole thing much too far. Oh, I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Everyone seemed perfectly happy to me.